హలో ఎవరివన్ ఐఎమ్ కే దేవవాణి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ మైక్రోబయాలజీ గవర్నమెంట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ ఉమెన్ నల్గొండ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద టాపిక్ ఆన్ సెల్ మీడియేటెడ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ సింప్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ సిఎంఐ సి ఫర్ సెల్ ఎం ఫర్ మీడియేటెడ్ ఐ ఫర్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ ద కంటెంట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఇంక్లూ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ సిఎంఐ అండ్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ సిఎంఐ అండ్ ద ఫేజెస్ ఆఫ్ సిఎంఐ సైటోకైన్స్ అండ్ దే ఫంక్షన్స్ టెస్ట్స్ ఫర్ ద డిటెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సిఎంఐ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ ఇట్ ద డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ సెల్ మీడియేటెడ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద స్పెసిఫిక్ రియాక్టివిటీ షోన్ బై ద హోస్ట్ టు అన్ యాంటీజెనిక్ స్టిమ్యులస్ ఈజ్ నోన్ యాజ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ ఈజ్ ఆఫ్ టూ టైప్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హ్యూమోరల్ మీడియేటెడ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ అండ్ ద సెల్ మీడియేటెడ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ హెచ్ఎంఐ హ్యూమోరల్ మీడియేటెడ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ యాంటీబాడీ మీడియేటెడ్ ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద ఇమ్యూన్ రెస్పాన్స్ మీడియేటెడ్ బై ద యాంటీబాడీస్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ బై ద B lymphocytes In this video I am going to explain the CMI cell mediated immune response cell mediated immune response it refers to the specific immune responses mediated by the T cells it is the immune response mediated by the effect of T cells that is called as a cell mediated immune response it is not mediated by the antibodies but by the effect of t cells which are generated in response to the antigen what are effect of t cells means both activated th cells and cytotoxic lymphocytes ctl means cytotoxic lymphocytes they serve as a effect of cells both th cells and cytotoxic lymphocytes they serve as a effect on cells the only demonstrable effect of the cmi was observed in delayed type of hypersensitivity dth dth means here delayed type of hypersensitivity which is an injury to the host rather than giving the protection coming to the introduction of this dth delay type hypersensitivity was described by robert koch in 1890 while he was working with a tubercle bacilli he injected the tubercle bacilli intradermally in the guinea pig and he observed the exaggerated immune response exurious to the guinea pig was observed later the cellular basis of dth was shown by landsteiner and chase the cellular basis of delay type hypersensitivity was shown by landsteiner and chase in 1942 delay type hypersensitivity is appearance of skin lesion after 48 to 72 hours of antigenic injection when after the administration of antigen into the host the skin lesions are appeared about 48 to 72 hours then that type of immune response is delayed type hypersensitivity now move on to the functions of cell mediated immunity it gives protection in the infectious diseases caused by an obligate and facultative intracellular parasites it gives protection against intracellular parasites that means the microorganisms they reside in the cells they are called as intracellular parasites they may be of bacteria examples 
for such bacteria are mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leprae brucella and listeria and the examples for viruses or smallpox measles mumps fungi histoplasma blastomyces coccidioids and protozoans leishmania and trypanosoma it gives protection for all these parasites intracellular parasites and the second one is it is involved in transplantation immunity that means the immunity shown by the individuals at, at the time of transplantation it is graft versus host rejection this is the immune graft versus host rejection is the immune condition that occurs after the transplant procedures the immune cells present in the graft cells they attack the recipient's host tissue in such cases the immunity that was observed is a cell mediated immunity another function is it plays an important role in the pathogenesis of a delayed hyper sensitivity delayed type of hypersensitivity reactions and in certain autoimmune disorders such as thyroiditis it plays an important role in pathogenesis of delayed type of hypersensitivity reactions and in certain autoimmune disorders such as autoimmune thyroiditis another function is it participates in immunological surveillance and immunity against cancer immunological surveillance means it's a monitoring process of the immune system to detect and destroy the virally infected and the transformed cells in the body particularly cancer so these are the functions of a cmi it gives protection against the infectious diseases caused by obligate and facultative intracellular parasites it is involved in the transplantation immunity and graft versus host rejection it participates in the pathogenesis of delayed type of hypersensitivity and certain autoimmune disorders and it participates in immunological surveillance and immunity against the cancer next one is induction of cmi let me explain the phases of cmi induction we call it as an induction how the cmi is induced the steps include to induce the cmi first one is the nature of antigen there are antigens which are dependent on t cells and which are independent on t cells so only the t cells dependent antigens induce cmi nature of antigenic stimulus is important to induce a cmi this is best developed following infection with the intracellular parasites so the killed vaccines on non living agents they do not induce cmi to induce cmi by these killed vaccines or non living agents they are conjugated with the adjuvants generally used one is friends complete adjuvant the first step is antigen processing by the antigen processing cells when the antigen is introduced they are taken up by the antigen presenting cells the antigen presenting cells are macrophages dendritic cells and b cells 
when the antigen is introduced these antigen processing cells they take up this antigen and they process it in the phagosomes that would be produced they are exposed to the enzymes present in the vesicles the vesicles will be formed and these vesicles will be named as either endosomes or the phagosomes and the enzymes that are present in these vesicles they act upon these antigens and they make it into peptides small peptides those peptides with the length of 10 to 30 amino acids residues these endosomal vesicles then fuse with the exocytic vesicles that contain the class 2 MHC molecules. Class 2 MHC molecules are present in these antigen presenting cells. The smaller the peptides that are generated by the antigen processing now fuse with the MHC molecule 2 that is present on the surface of the antigen presenting cells. Second step is the recognition. recognition by T cells. T cells they have a receptor that receptor is called as a T cell receptor for one epitope. T cells they recognize the antigen peptides which are presented with MHC molecules. The combination of antigenic peptide with MHC1 is recognized by CD8 T cells. T cells here are CD4 T cells and CD8 T cells. CD8 T cells they recognize the antigenic peptide when it is complexed with the MSC1. TH cells they bind to the antigenic peptide which is already complexed with the MHC2. TH cells they recognize the antigens only presented with the MHC2 that leads to the activation of TH cells. On contact with the antigen, after binding with the antigen, the TH cells undergo steps of blast transformation, clonal proliferation and differentiation. The T cells, they get activated. This is called as a activated T cell. The activated T cells release cytokines. These cytokines have biological functions. The activated T cells, effector T cells, they are placed into three classes. First one is CTLS, means cytotoxic lymphocytes. They kill the infected, these are the cytotoxic T cells. They kill the infected target cell by apoptosis without using the cytokines. Another cells are TH1 cells. They function to activate the macrophages and TH2 cells. They stimulate the B cells into antibody producing cells. The steps of inducing CMI or the First step is antigenic presentation that is captured by the antigen presenting cells. They are internalized by an endocytosis process or phagocytosis process and form vesicles. These vesicles generate the 10 to 30 amino acid residues in length and these are fused with the exocytic vesicles which are containing the class 2. MSC molecules. A second step is recognition of an antigen by the T cells. The T cells are able to recognize the antigen when they are complexed with the MSC2 molecules that leads to the activation of uh, T cells. Now the activated TH cells they release the cytokines. These uh, cytokines they activate the macrophages, they activate the uh, B cells and dendritic cells and cytotoxic lymphocytes all the cells will get activated by the cytokines. 
the activated effector T cells are placed in three classes. One is a cytotoxic T lymphocytes. They kill the infected target cells by apoptosis without using the cytokines. And the TH1 cells, TH1 cells, they function to activate the macrophages. TH2 cells, they function to stimulate the B cells into antibody producing cells. These cytokines have various biological effects. They stimulate the other cells and enhance the process of killing. Let me explain what are cytokines. Cytokines are biologically active substances secreted by the monocytes, lymphocytes and other cells and they are actively involved in immune responses and the inflammation. Cytokines are the peptide mediators of polypeptides. or intercellular messengers that regulate immunological, inflammatory and reparative host responses. Cytokines are the polypeptide or peptide mediators or the inter intercellular messengers that regulate the immunological, inflammatory and repair processes of the host. Cytokines have a role, they are similar to that of hormone, hormone like, but it differs from hormones because they are not secreted by the glands but by the cells. Cytokines they act locally, generally hormones they usually act at a far distance, but cytokines they act locally near the producing cells. They may have paracrine effect and autocrine effect. Cytokines have an important role in both innate and adaptive immunity. Another point is cytokines here not stored as the preformed proteins but their synthesis is initiated by the transcription. That means they are produced as needed in immune responses. Cytokine genes are get activated mRNA is synthesized and peptides are produced from a cell when needed only. The genes get transcribed and release these cytokines. These cytokines they bind to the receptor present on the target cell and again it leads to the activation and it shows the biological effects. Binding on to the target cells may be it is of either autocrine action or it may be paracrine action and also by endocrine action. Autocrine action means the cytokines that are produced by the cells have the receptors to bind to those cytokines. So the producer cytokines they bind to the receptors present on them and shows the effect that is called as the autocrine effect. That means they act directly on the producing cells. Paracrine action involves the cytokines they act locally nearby the cells which are very close to the producing cells that effect is called as a paracrine action. Endocrine action they enter into the circulation and they have the receptor on the target cell at the far distant away and it binds to the receptor and shows the biological effects. Majorly the cytokines have autocrine and paracrine action. Cytokines are pleiotropic means they have multiple effects on growth and differentiation of various cell types. Many cytokines are produced by many cell types and they act on many cell types. So that is why they are called as a, they are pleiotropic. Cytokines are grouped into different categories based on their function or their source. They are categorized as follows. First one is a mediators affecting the lymphocytes, the second one is mediators affecting macrophages and monocytes, mediators affecting the polymorphonuclear leukocytes, PMNL means 
पॉली मार्फो न्यूक्लियर ल्यूकोसाइट्स मीडिएटर्स एफेक्टिंग द स्टेम सेल्स एंड द मीडिएटर्स प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द मैक्रोफेजेस दैट एफेक्ट द अदर सेल फर्स्ट वन इज मीडिएटर्स दैट एफेक्ट द लिम्फोसाइट्स एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर सच साइटोकाइंस दियर दे आर नेम्ड एज अ इंटरल्यूकिंस Interleukins are the product released by the leukocytes. The term interleukin was used for the products of leukocytes that have the regulatory influence on the other cells. So IL means interleukin. Interleukin one. It is a protein produced mainly by activated macrophages and monocytes phagocytes it has an important functions such as it activates the t and b cells neutrophils and fibroblasts to proliferate il1 is produced by macrophages it has a function on target cells like t cells b cells neutrophils and fibroblasts to proliferate differentiate and synthesize specific products it stimulates the t cells of th type t helper cells to produce il2 il1 it also acts on hypothalamus to cause fever the infections raise the temperature that is by means of il1 the next one is il2 it is produced by t helper cells activated th cells it is a t cell growth factor it is produced by the th cells and it uh, stimulates and promotes the helper and cytotoxic t cells to grow and also promotes the b cells and nk cells il2 has an autocrine action because it is produced by the th cells and it is in turn stimulates the growth of the t cells the activation of t cells results the expression of a receptor that the il2 binds to that receptor and promotes the cell division next one is a il4 is produced by th cells and macrophages it is required for the isotype switching from one class of antibodies to another that means the earliest antibody is igm in the humoral response and that leads to the isotype switching which leads to the production of igg production I next one is il5 il5 is a produced by th cells it promotes this promotes the growth of b cells il6 IL6 is also produced by the TH cells and macrophages it also acts on hypothalamus to cause fever it is a pyrogen like IL1 IL1 and IL6 they act on hypothalamus and induce a fever other cytokines include IL10 IL12 and IL13 that affect the lymphocytes the second one is a mediators affecting the macrophages and monocytes they are chemokines chemokines are a subtype of cytokines produced by endothelial cells and macrophages chemokines are a subtype of cytokines that are produced by endothelial cells and macrophages these chemokines they attract 
the macrophages or the neutrophils they attract the macrophages and neutrophils to the site of infection the movement of phagocytes to the site of infection by chemotactic substances is called as a chemotaxis and these chemokines they also facilitate the migration of white cells into the infected area one is mediators affecting the polymorphonuclear leukocytes they are tumor necrosis alpha il8 and c5a tumor necrosis alpha it is produced by activated macrophages it is an important mediator in inflammation it mediates the recruitment of neutrophils and macrophages to the sites of infection tnf alpha also acts on the hypothalamus to produce fever another one is the il8 and c5a components they attract the neutrophils to the site of infection interleukin 8 and c5a component of the complement attract the neutrophils to the site of infection another one is the mediators affecting the stem cells they include interleukin 3 gmcsf means granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor gcsf means it is a granulocyte colony stimulating factor il3 it is produced by th cells and it suppresses the growth of bone marrow stem cells it suppresses the growth of bone marrow stem cells gmcsf that is granulocyte macrophages colony stimulating factor produced by the macrophages t lymphocytes it stimulates the growth of granulocytes whereas gcsf it is produced by the macrophages and it uh, helps the development of neutrophils from the stem cells another one is uh, mediators produced by the macrophages that affect other cells which include again the tumor necrosis factor alpha which has an effect on pmnl here the tumor necrosis alpha activates the respiratory burst in the phagocytes particularly neutro neutrophils and enhances the killing activities of phagocyte it stimulates the growth of b cells another one is a mif that means macrophage the migration inhibitant factor migration inhibition factor it is produced by the macrophages in response to endotoxins it helps to retain the macrophages at the site of infection another one is nitric oxide nitric oxide is produced by the mac activated macrophages Uh, that is in response to endotoxin nitro nitric oxide it causes vasodilation and induces the septic shock cytokines are majorly categorized based on their functions the cytokines which mediate and the function on the lymphocytes include il1 2 4 il f 6 and others here il1 and il6 they are py pyrogenic that means they induce the fever acting on the hypothalamus another one is here some mediators that affect the macrophages and monocytes the chemokines they attract the macrophages or the neutrophils to the site of infection 
another one is the affecting mediators affecting the polymorphonuclear leukocytes they are produced by the activated macrophages and again they have a role as a chemokines as a chemotactic factors to attract the neutrophils basophils and eosinophils to the site of infection that includes tnf alpha il8 and c5a another one is mediators affecting the stem cells il3 gm csf and gcsf il3 it suppresses the differentiation of bone marrow stem cells and these two factors they stimulate the growth of granulocytes and macrophages another one is mediators produced by the macrophages they are tnf alpha and migration inhibition factor and nitric oxide so tnf alpha here it activates the respiratory burst uh, and enhances the killing activities of phagocytes and it stimulates the growth of b cells migration inhibition factor retains the macrophages at the site of infection and nitric oxide here it has a uh, it causes vasodilation the vessels are dilated and induce the hypotension in septic shock here i have mentioned the some of the cytokines and their functions il1 the source of secretion of il1 is uh, macrophages and it has a function on activates th cells and fever il2 it is uh, produced by th1 t helper cells 1 and it activates t helper cells tc t cytotoxic cells and b cells il3 it is produced by t helper cells nk cells and mast cells they have a function on growth of the b cells they are also helpful for the histamine release release of histamines another one is uh, il4 that is produced by the th2 cells and uh, it stimulates the b cell growth and uh, helpful for the isotype switching interferon alpha this is produced by the leukocytes interferons are the glycoproteins produced by the host in response to viral infection so they are called as viral induced host proteins all the interferons have a role in inhibiting the virus replication categorized into type 2 types alpha and beta type 1 gamma and type 2 so here type 1 alpha that is produced by leukocytes which inhibits the viral replication and type 1 here that is interferon beta and it is produced by the fibroblast and interferon gamma here it is a type 2 interferon it is also called as a immune interferon because it is produced by the activated th1 cells and cytotoxic t cells and natural killer cells these are the immune cells that's why this is called as a gamma interferon and it also has a role in inhibiting the viral replication and the another one another cytokine is a tumor necrosis factor that is produced by the activated macrophages and here this tumor necrosis factor it activates the neutrophils and increases their adhesion to the endothelial cells and it mediates also the septic shock and it also causes the necrosis of tumors so these are a few of the important cytokines and their sources and their functions biological functions next the last one is test for detection of cmi cmi can be detected by in vivo within the host and in vitro that is outside the host in vivo that is done by skin tests skin tests are generally to detect the delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction to the common antigens skin tests are useful to detect the delayed type hypersensitivity reaction to the common antigens that come in contact with the body a tuberculin test is used tuberculin test means here a purified protein derivative dinitrochlorobenzene or dinitrofluorobenzene or the antigens dinitro chloro or fluorobenzene or the antigens used for this skin testing most of the normal people they respond to this delay type of reactions to this agent antigens absence of reactions to these skin tests suggest the 
impairment of cell mediated immune response another one is in vitro test here mif that is the migration inhibition factor this test the human leukocytes are incubated in the capillary tubes the tubes contain the culture fluid as explained earlier migration inhibition factor is produced by the t cells exposure to the antigen so that principle is used in this test here the human leukocytes are incubated in the culture fluid in the capillary tubes now the leukocytes in the absence of antigen they migrate to the open end of the tube and form a fan like pattern in the presence of antigen that migration migration is uh, inhibited so the leukocytes are prevented to migrate to the open end of the tube that is here used for detecting cmi second one is a lymphocyte blast transformation when exposed to the antigens the t cells they undergo blast transformation they undergo synthesis of the cells lymphocyte blast transformation here the lymphocytes they undergo blast transformation on exposure to the specific antigen that leads to the synthesis of cells here that synthesis of cells leads to the increase in the dna synthesis that is measured the dna synthesis is me measured by using thymidine by using thymidine which is a radioactively labeled with tritium the increase in dna synthesis is measured by using the tritiated thymidine next one is a enumeration of t cells and b cells enumeration the t cells and b cells are counted here using a device that is a fluorescence activated cell sorter this is called as a f a c s fax device is used that is the fluorescence activated cell sorter is used to count the t cells and b cells another one is a rosette formation rosette means it is a lymphocyte to which three or more sheep red blood cells are attached to the lymphocytes three or more sheep red blood cells are attached and forms a rosette most t cells they form rosettes t cells they form rosettes when mixed with the sheep erythrocytes sheep rbc when the sheep rbc is mixed with the t cells it leads to the formation of a rosette that t cell rosette is a referred as a e rosette e rosette means t cell rosette t cells can be determined by counting the e rosettes this rosette formation is useful to detect the t cells hence cmi of the host this is about the cell mediated immune response main points in the cell mediated immune response is it is induced by the t cells this immune response is mediated by the t cells and the importance here it gives protection against the intracellular microorganisms and it has a major role in the delay type hypersensitivity it has a function in the immunological surveillance in the transplantation immunity and in the certain autoimmune disorders phases include the first one is antigen capturing by the antigen pro processing cells the second step is recognition of uh, antigenic peptides by the t cell receptors present on the t cells after binding the activation of t, t cells that lead to the uh, effector t cells and memory t cells and here the effector t cells secrete a large number of uh, cytokines which uh, mediate 
biological effects. Cytokines are the peptide mediators or intra intercellular messengers that have functions in immunological, inflammatory and reparative responses. They are highly potent, they are active in uh, femtomolar concentrations and they act locally either by paracrine and autocrine effect. Cytokines, the important cytokines are IL-1, IL-2, IL-3, IL-4, IL-6, interferons and tumor necrosis factor alpha. And the tests that are used for the detection of CMI in vivo that is by skin tests by injecting the purified protein derivative into the skin. Another one is in vitro test that is by migration inhibition factor and lymphocyte blast transformation and enumeration of T cells, B cells by the facts, fluorescence activated cell sort and rosette formation. T cells they form rosettes with the sheep erythrocytes that rosettes are enumerated. So, this is about the cell mediated immune response. Thank you for watching this video.